Hello there, welcome back to some more Team World Dig 2. It's me, Joey, in last episode. What we did was we got to below the acid swamp in Yaddo. Uh, now we're going to keep going because we've got secrets to find. We've got a life to live. And nothing can stop me. Apart from myself. That's an acid bomb. Good to know. Down to the gold level now. Sacred documentation. Episode of Dallas. I think it was what it said. Unlike the TNT, looks like for these acid bombs, just touching it is enough to ruin it forever. They will explode. There is nothing you can do about it. It doesn't look like Mortal Pool make it explode faster or anything. Lazurite. Have I ever seen that? Maybe. That's one risk, I was going to say. That the acid will destroy things you can't see. I was just going to talk about how... I wonder if it will destroy a rock above me and it will crash down on me and I won't be able to see it coming. Because this acid goes far. Like, it's quite a big explosion. It came at me at quite some speed too, so I don't know if I would have been able to avoid it even if I'd known it was coming. Mostly it was just gold though, so I'm not too worried. Just lots of gold. Easy come, easy go, I say. Right, let's go in here. Hodgepodge hang. the end of the level. I fell out the bottom of the screen. It should put me back. I thought it would put me back where I last stood. That's seem seemingly not the case.
Seems like quite an easy level to cheese, though. Thank you. Now let's look for other secrets, because there's bound to be some. basically the whole level. Scented candle. The level's done. Alright. Are you guys and the acid is going to be done? die a horrible, painful death. But besides that, it's fine. fire a little bit there. But I believe that I can do it, so it's fine. A lot of life is a confidence game. And you, without being arrogant, you've got to believe you can do something, but not to the detriment of, you know, sanity. Some things you can't do, and that's fine. Probably supposed to make the guys shoot it. That's not what I'm about. Trying to just get down without touching anything so I can get to the next thing. The mushroom pond. Oh, yeah. No, show me where you fall down that more. You just come back anytime we got all the cells, see? Eh? Air cooling. Release air midair to let the jet engine cool down. And then, hello friend. Hey, oh, splendid! You found 28 fascinating artifacts already. It's my appreciation of your blueprint of my stack. I give you another blueprint. You can show me 42 artifacts in total. Aquatic for Genesis. Regenerate life when in water pools. Interesting. 
That's quite a long way to go back down, but I need to because there's lots of gems and things I didn't get. like it keeps going. So now I'm not full up on gems. I can actually go and set about getting all this shite. Alright, let's go in the door. Mushy mushy snuggery. I think the mushrooms are designed to try and kill you. They're not supposed to be good. Let me stop that straight away. I get water temple vibes from the music. Not done yet, but there's an upgrade probably somewhere. Now I'm done. All right. Stab it. That's me around like crazy. You acid bomb. Right, well, as soon as this is done, now I can just go in. A bit weird. Shit. Luckily, there's a thing right here, so. I believe there's something up there, but it looks like the path might actually have connected at the top level. Like higher up than this. Yeah, okay, so I don't need to worry about it. Alright. Let's keep going. I think there's an achievement for grappling, like a certain amount of flying enemies. I'm counting these bugs as flying, they fly. How, would you, how else would you describe this movement? Who 
plutonium. Next. The Bushwhack Beehive. Still life, still hope. Neighborhood spider bot. Hit 15 flies with your hook shot. Badly. That's done. Cool. Get out and just do that, so let's sell our shit. That's really fun down there. Oh. 100% bonus now. Right, I'd like to upgrade my water tank with the maximum moisture vaporator. Constant replenishment of water supply. So I don't have to worry about running out uh, of water because I just wait. And if I just wait, I'll get water back. It probably is a quite a slow regen. I'd have to guess. But that's fine. Slow regen's better than no regen. quite slow. But as I'm just wandering around, having my water come back is going to be pretty good. Looks like it might just be like a flat 5,000 or so every level now. Which should be fine. Dying left, right, and center. I've got more of the secrets now. I 
an Octanium. Lime loop. Damn you. Okay. All right, let's let's think about this. Oh, it's like looping around itself like Mario Brothers 3. The Lime Snowman. Screen Rat. Okay. Another cave. Mind if I do? Aeronaut Station. There's stuff underneath. We'll worry about that later. For now. Jet Vigor. Well, I think that machine just turned my jet engine into a weapon. So let's go scorch some of this mutated plant life then. Hopefully it'll be effective on Dart 2. We seem to be buried down here. Okay, so now you can use this to dig your way through things. Interesting. side which lets me continue which I needed to do anyway. Don't think it was optional. Mosquito minefield. Hello. No, show me what you found out there. Give me another twelve hundred buckaroos. Thank you. So what do you want to do? stuff. Okay. We might as well, while we're here, get health for being in water as well. Also probably extremely slowly, but that's fine. Much less concerned about 
digging in the quote unquote proper way anymore because I can just shoot a thing to correct it. A bomb in midair. Completely crazy with how I do it. Should be fine. Now I've gone down a bit far now, so let's go back up. This is going to be my last expedition of the video anyway, so... goes through the most basic bitch of dirt, it's a uh, thing. Which is fine. Can't be too overpowered. never choose anything else, would you? around here. It's about trying not to be overwhelmed, but... damage. It's going glowing red like it might be doing damage, but let's get out of here while we still can. That's where we're heading. All right then. Now show me we found out there. Big hall. Nearly 1500s worth. Give me my maximum armor. And I get five cogs. Instead of dying, I'll be able to come back with full health. One time. Alright. 
See you guys next time when we probably find out what's going on in the actual cave in Yavo. See you then. Bye-bye.